Can I say I'm surprised Canelo Alvarez pursuing a DAZN matchroom boxing deal for a fight or two? Possibly Avni Yildrum, and then maybe Billy Joe Saunders. Stay tuned to this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang please hit the bell icon canelo alvarez reports are surfacing that he is inching closer to doing a deal with eddie hearn matchroom boxing and the zone the same platform that he left now this is no surprise to me i predicted that canelo alvarez he just wanted to get out of oscar de la hoya and golden boys grips and that's more so what the lawsuit would have, was about it wasn't as much about the zone and it looks like his next fight will be February, late February, possibly with Avni Yildrim. They're saying it's mandatory. Listen, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Canelo could do whatever he wants. He's a grown man. And if DAZN wants to pay for it, good luck to them. But I don't think a lot of these are the fights that people are clamoring for in the world of boxing. You can say whatever you want. Canelo is definitely talented. Canelo is a star. And at the end of the day, he feels he's earned the right to position himself, but I'll just focus on fights that are interesting to me and maybe some of the up and comers in boxing who politics have not gotten the way of their journey. You know, it's to me, it's apparent the WBC is in cahoots with Canelo Alvarez. Another thing that this shows you, if he does go back to DAZN, the same platform he listed on a lawsuit, is that Canelo, does he really want to truly please the fans and fight the best a ton of european fighters british fighters that he's fighting guys that stylistically billy joe saunders let's say he's kind of a slick boxer kind of a boxer limited puncher power so if you're going to fight a slick boxer in america why not fight against an american slickster and caleb plant right if you're going to fight an aggressive guy like kovalev at the back half of his career coming off of a quick turnaround in the Anthony Yard fight in which he was almost stopped. Why not fight an aggressive David Benavidez or a Jamal Charlo? You know, if you're again going to fight someone who could use his legs, why not fight a Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade? So as long as Canelo continues to move around and pivot, you know, it is what it is. I think he's going to get the same type of feedback from fans. The fans can say whatever they want about me. But at the end of the day, you know, many of these picks that Canelo is inching towards aren't your first picks either. So, like I said, people are going to say whatever they want about me in this video, but I just want to see boxing thrive. And Canelo, I guess one of the reasons he's under the microscope is because he is popular. And when Canelo fights, if he was fighting the right types of people that would move the needle in boxing in a phenomenal way plus it comes with the territory when floyd mayweather was listed as the number one pound for pound that also came that throne came with certain obligations those obligations are to do right by the boxing fans now before i continue make sure you smash a like button and check out this ad ufc 257 is among us what up fight world it's your boy ego A storm is coming. Conor McGregor, the rematch is here. Poirier versus McGregor 2, only on ESPN Plus. Use my link in the description. UFC 257. I'll see you at the fights. Who the fuck is that guy? So to continue, Canelo Alvarez, again, he can move how he wants, but this just shows me that it wasn't Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy holding Canelo back if he does go this route of Avni Yildrum and Billy Joe Saunders. Again, good luck to him. We'll see how many people demand these fights and are checking for these types of fights that he looks like he's he's giving and putting on. Caleb Smith, he looks surgical. He looked good. But then after they said he had four weeks to prepare and train, again, I don't know how long that type of behavior will be encouraged in boxing, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But it looks like Canelo could go back to DAZN. DAZN, for their part, I think 
they've since the beginning they've allowed canelo to fight these types of fights that put them further into the hole in america these aren't big fights so if you're gonna overpay canelo then i guess good riddance i was hoping that canelo would go on fox with the avni yildrum fight because i don't think it's a big fight i definitely don't think it's a fight that many people will feel happy to pay about you know to pay one one angle is people are saying oh canelo's fighting frequently but of course if you give a guy four weeks to train and then you come back and fight a guy who hasn't fought in two years when you just fought and he he is coming off of a loss like avenue yildrum that affords you the ability to fight multiple times in a short space of time you look at gennady golovkin gennady golovkin when he was first breaking ground in america he was fighting gregor's Praska. And Gabe Rosado was moving up from 54, Martin Murray, Matthew Macklin, Rubio, and things like that. So that affords you when you're fighting a certain echelon of competition, guys with no punching power, guys moving up in weight, guys who aren't world beaters. Yeah, Golovkin was fighting three or four times a year, but you notice he's not doing that now because the fights got tougher. Since about the Kell Brook Jacobs fight, Golovkin's schedule He's fought better names like Jacobs and Canelo and the Canelo, things like that. Dervinchenko took a lot out of him. So, yeah, of course, it's going to be harder to keep that activity up. If you fight Camille says Metas, of course, you could fight multiple times a year. But if you're fighting Dervinchenko's, you see how tough that fight. Hell no, guys. You see how tough that fight was for hey, no, guys. So that's why he's fighting with the lack of frequency that he's fighting because the fights got tougher. And that's what we're seeing with Canelo. People are bragging, oh, he might fight three times this year. Yeah, good good for him. Or three times in a tw rolling 12 months. But again, you can do that if you're giving guys four weeks to train, then fighting a guy who ain't fought again in two years and coming off a loss, et cetera, et cetera. Styles that you're favored to beat. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Disappointing if it's true, but we'll wait to hear from Canelo Alvarez. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.